At around 11 p.m. on Sunday, January 23rd, all residents evacuated Terrapin Hall and were displaced to other buildings on campus. A water pipe located in the wall of the third floor room burst and flooding to the third floor and trickling down to the second and first floor. Dr. Kevin Meany, the brand new Director of Housing and Residence Life, has only been in his new position for one week when this incident occurred. Uh, you know, obviously we're very disappointed that it happened and um, we're hoping it doesn't happen again. We got all of the students relocated and the next day we were able to um, test all of the fire systems. Um, once we kind of, we, we brought in a cleaning company immediately and so they started, you know, vacuuming up standing water and, and those kind of things. Um, and we were able to reset the fire systems and test them the very next day. Um, so we were able to get um, the vast majority of students back into the building uh, on Monday afternoon. Eight rooms on the third floor and eight rooms on the second floor had significant water damage. Those 16 students were displaced longer than one night. Sophomore Eric Foreman is a fifth floor resident of Terrapin Hall and he believes that the university handled his situation well. It yeah. felt weird because they were putting us wherever they could with those empty rooms mm -hmm. um, and it was just for the night or at least until they fix the building. I probably went to sleep by about 5 a.m. that night. I was surprised at how fast we were able to move back in. I expected a couple days. It was a weirdly like condensed situation, like mm -hmm. self-contained, because after 24 hours, it was pretty much back to normal for me. Mm -hmm. Besides all like the construction and maintenance stuff going on that you could hear and see. Overall, Meany believes that this incident was a perfect demonstration of how our university handles emergencies. Um, we, we just had tremendous um, teamwork, not only um, in housing and residence life in terms of the, you know, working on the facilities and relocating the residents, but our campus partners. Um, for instance, you know, our physical plant folks, the transportation folks who came in, they ran shuttles so that students could get from Terrapin to their on-campus temporary location. Um, you know, we had actually had several senior staff, um, senior leaders, um, vi vice chancellors come in um, to support the residents in any way they could. So it was just a really great sort of example of how you come together as a university and, and, and deal with an emergency like that. I'm Garrett Wishon. And I'm Boyce Rucker. Thank you for watching and we'll see you soon.